Welcome to Apple Word for HVAC. In this video, I will explore the fundamental rules and principles that will ensure efficient and reliable pump performance. Number one, keep section piping as short as possible. Include a straight run pipe length equal to five to 10 times the pipe diameter between the pump inlet and any obstruction in the section line. Number two, pipe diameter on section side should be equal or one size larger than pump inlet. Pipe sizing is a balancing act between cost and friction loss. Larger pipes cost more, whereas smaller pipes impose greater friction losses on the system. In terms of diameter discharge pipe, diameter should normally match the discharge flange on the pump but can be larger to reduce friction losses and decrease system pressure. Number three, use eccentric reducers on the section side. Consider using eccentric reducers on the section side of the pump when a pipe size transition is required. Install the flat side of the reducer on the top when fluid is coming from below the pump. Number four, eliminate elbows mounted on or close to the inlet nozzle of the pump. Include five to 10 pipe diameter of straight run pipe between the pump inlet and elbow. This helps to eliminate the side loading of the pump impeller and creates uniform pump. Number five, eliminate potential for air entrapment in the section piping. Maintain adequate levels in supply tanks to eliminate vortices from forming and air entrapment. Avoid high pocket in suction piping, which can trap air. Keep all pipe and fitting connections tight in suction vacuum conditions to prevent air from getting into the pump. Last Number six, ensure the piping arrangement does not cause strain on the pump casing. Pumps should never support the section or discharge piping. Any stress on the pump casing by the piping system greatly reduces pump life and performance. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.